It's Pat and JT, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, enjoy the fact that you guys are listening. And you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and, and Facebook, like I said, or 402-403-9478. Um, you can text us. We did, oh yeah, I've got a text here I need to read for you yeah. real quick. So I think it, it wasn't like to you, but it was about something that you talked about. Mm. Um, I think, uh, where is it? It was, it's, uh, hold on. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all right. I'm just going to throw out there, too. Uh, quite a few people after last week, we talked about this a few episodes ago about uh, lo- the laundry uh, Petito case mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and finding him, but his parents and, and somebody, I saw a couple of quotes and uh, posts that were out there as well, but a lot of people are really suspect. It says the FBI and the bounty hunter couldn't find him, but his parents went searching and lo and behold, his clothes magically appear. I mean, that sounds a little weird, right? I mean, come on. Uh, Isn't that just crazy? hundred percent. It sounds weird. And I know they're saying that that area was underwater before, like they, maybe they couldn't search there, but if the parents had said, Hey, look over there, even though it's underwater, yeah. they would have had boats, sonar, whatever. Well, they found that bag. They found the bag, the bones and the knapsack had been underwater or the, the remains. I don't know exactly what was left of the remains, but the bag I don't think was. Yeah, I don't get it. It's uh, it's, it's super, almost it's super weird. What what yeah. like did they they knew where to find him? Like they did they know he was dead? Mm-hmm. And like that's the thing that which I just so understand. weird. Like if you know your son's dead and you know that he did this or whatever, just say that he, this is what happened. This is where he went, and this is like, he probably said he was going to kill himself, right? I mean, just whatever. I'm guessing that they kind of had a, an idea, an inkling. I'm sure they did. Uh, they, they've known a lot more well, than they're leading on to the whole time. Do you remember there was a case in Nebraska where some people went missing? out by Hastings Clay Center area. And um, they knew where they had been. They knew what time they'd left wherever they were. Yeah. And then they didn't show up when they were supposed to. And there was a pretty direct route. And so, and it was in the country. Um, and so they went out searching and there was just like no sign of them, just no sign of them. And it went on for a while. Uh, unfortunately, they were found eventually and they'd gone off the road. Um, and so they were in an area where they couldn't be seen Unfortunately, that's what had happened. But the weird thing was, is after a few weeks, or maybe just a couple weeks, but regardless, there had been some rain, you know, this and that. And then all of a sudden, somebody's driving down the road, and they found his ball cap on the road. And that's after how many months? It it was just after, it was after a measure of time, but but there'd been a rainstorm. Uh And so that's why they'd they'd suspended looking, and then they'd go back out to looking again. It'd been a couple of weeks. Probably, maybe more than that. It, it's been a number of years ago that this happened. But all I remember is there had been a measure of time between and they they were losing hope. And then there was this rainstorm yeah. comes in. And then lo and behold, somebody finds his ball cap. Not a muddy mess. Just a ball cap. Like it just flew off somebody's head and it just landed on the road. And it was in the area that had been searched which that's countless my, times. I mean, come on. Even if it was, was, even if so it was, weird. they found like five days later, it's like after it's been searched. Who You didn't see this, the ball cap? Right. Which is how I feel about yeah. This in the knapsack and the bag of bag of clothes. Was that like his traveling bag and the knapsack? What do you have in or the did knapsack? Or did his mom, see, that's what we're thinking. Did his, parents, did, his, a bag? did his parents take it for him? If they did, then accessory right there. They obviously knew that something was up. Uh, right. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, who knows? But I know they're, they're, the whole family, the whole situation is just a bad, it's bad people. It's, yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah. We'll just go with that. And then the other story that we didn't uh, touch on, we've kind of been watching this play out. Alec Baldwin, number one, is a hot mess regardless He's been a hot mess for 20 years. Easily. And 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 as much as he is an an ass, <laughs> yeah. it seems like to his his daughter, to other people, paparazzi, um, you know, he's he's just threatening, he's in people's faces and he's like out of control. I love stuff that he's in. I yeah, I love him. I think he's hilarious. 30 he pick, Rock was yeah. one of my favorite shows of all yeah. time. I think and movies that he's in. And, and movies are great too. Um, yeah, he's just he a great pick, actor. He picks well. Mm-hmm. He picks well as far as the movies that he's a part of. But then you see the story about Alec Baldwin firing a prop gun on a movie set and it killed somebody and injured somebody else. And the the way the story reads is he's on the set of a new Western movie. They're in New Mexico and killed his photography director and injured the director, according to the sheriff's department. This is near Santa Fe. And they said that uh, the movie is called Rust. How old was the person? Was The person that was killed was 42, and the other person was 48 years old, treated at a local place and released. But anyway, uh, so production's now been halted. Um, a spokesperson said that there was an accident on the set involving the misfire of a prop gun with blanks. Uh, it doesn't and, sound like they're blanks. Uh, I'm sorry, but... Right? We, I, I know. And okay, 
And I've seen many, many movie behind the scenes shows on movies, and there are a lot of them that don't even that don't even use blanks because you add everything, all the sound, everything in in post production. So yeah. why on earth would there ever be a gun with a firing Anything. pin or a mechanism at all? And that's probably what's good. after Brandon uh, Lee was killed on the Crow twenty years ago. Uh, I thought everything changed, and there were there weren't blanks used anymore. What about John Eric Hexum? Do you remember that name? Mm-mm. That happened before. Brandon Lee, because I think Brandon Lee, when was he? He was in, in 93, 10 years before. John Eric Hexum, and he was in a new show called Cover Up. And he, he hot guy. I mean, it was like, he was like rising star, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And he was told about some production delays and this and that. And he jokingly picked up a prop gun, put it to his head and pulled the trigger. You know, as in, oh, <laughs> just yeah. shoot me. Right. Right? Yeah. The gun had been loaded with blanks, but the impact fractured his skull yeah. and, and a shard of it went into his brain. He was 26 when that happened. It's and uh, his final words were, can you believe this crap? Those were his final words. Wow. But you would think that after that, and he was high profile at that time, that after that happened, it would have been, okay, we got to come up with a better way. But even though production wise, you're right. They didn't have the technology they do now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Brandon Lee, even it's still... It, just just for people, I've always, when you're watching any kind of movie that involves guns, it makes me nervous when I see people pointing a gun at somebody. It does now. It never did it, before oh, to me oh, because you always, me. Cause you always think you you're watching a, a movie. You're wa- literally watching oh. a movie. So why mm. on earth you would never use real anything? The food in, movie isn't, in movies isn't real. <laughs> the cigarettes aren't real. Like everything that you think, they, they just grab something out of the lunchroom well, to use it in a movie. Are real. It's a, they're not. They're, it's a, well, they're not. I saw a behind the no, scenes thing on, uh, God, what movie was it? It was a movie in the last five or six years, and they have a specific kind of uh, cigarette that is used that it's not, it's not nicotine, it's not tobacco, because the smoke shows up better on film. So it's actually a fake, it's a fake cigarette. Fake cigarette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's not real cigarettes. So like nothing is real on a movie set, but yet you have to have a gun that shoots blanks. Like who cares? It doesn't need to shoot. Right? Like Nothing. Just saying. You're actors, for God's sakes. Actors. You're literally having a conversation with Spider-Man. Act like you you're can six pretend years you're old. shooting a gun. Right? You're six years old. Click, bang, yes. bang. <laughs> yeah. In your mind. And the Instagram, I mm. went on that girl who, who died. The yeah. director of photography, her Instagram post three days before she was killed. It was a day off, and she was riding horses. And she's like, with benefit of, it was a video, benefit of shooting um, a Western, whatever, in the, in the desert, is I get to ride horses on my day off. This is a video of her riding. Mm-hmm. And then she's dead three days later. No, oh, that's something. And and I, I guess really with Alec Baldwin, I, I don't know that he, when they said it misfired, well, it didn't. It, it did exactly what it was supposed to do and it shouldn't have, it just shouldn't have been there. Yeah, like what? <clears throat> yeah. And I don't, I haven't read, I, well, I've read everything that's out there, but I haven't yeah. seen like what was the exact situation? Like, was it an, it, was it something where she was 20 feet away and it, there was loaded with a real bullet or did something fly yeah. off the outside of the gun and hit like, think- this one said, at least. I haven't one, heard anything about live ammunition yet. No, I haven't either. It just said a dummy, uh, a series of mistakes led to a dummy cartridge getting stuck in the barrel, is what they're saying happened. So, okay. And so then. When they put the, a new one in, the impact. Put, oh, okay, got it. That something was then projected out of it, the projectile. Um, yeah. But dang, what would that do to your head? Oh, man. Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm guessing he was just joking around. And, you know, like... Right, or maybe they were filming. They could have been filming a scene. I don't think they were. I don't... And I'm just going by stuff I've said or seen. Because if they weren't... If they were just screwing around and he just shot... Was it? No, you're right. They were doing a scene. They were doing a scene depicting a group of gang members fatally shooting... Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No. So they were screwing around. They were. They were. Just said it was just a, just an accident. Wow. Well, it was uh, just an accident on the set involving the misfire of the prop gun. It doesn't say. It really doesn't say. He'll never be the same again. But I, that, would, I would assume he would not be. That's got to mess with you. Forever. I, um, yeah. I mean, I've known, I've known uh, actually, I think only one person. Yeah, only one person that was in a, that was in a car accident where someone died. Mm. Um, and it was, it wasn't their fault, but it wasn't the other person. Like, I don't, I don't remember who was at fault, but they sure. were involved in this and someone died and they weren't like, they weren't, it's not like they were compl- terribly messed up, but there was some, it was tons of therapy and it was something they thought yeah. about all the time and Even it just changed who they were. And somebody else hit you, you were driving, you know, in your mind, you were driving. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that's when you're, when your kids start driving, you, it's hard to impress that upon them. 
you know, because they want to be the one that's driving. Yeah. Um, you know, just the idea of the responsibility yeah. of who's in your vehicle. That, that they don't see it that they don't uh, even it, think of that. And they don't. You, mm. I, I mean, anything, trying to impress it. anybody before yeah. the age of 23, 25, whatever, you just don't, yeah. you think you're invincible, all that stuff. But I would rather have one of my kids driving mm -hmm. and versus them riding in another car. Cause I don't know. I know how I taught them to drive. I know. And I know they're kids. They're going to screw around. They're going to make mistakes, all that stuff. But at least I know that I instilled in them what they're mm -hmm. supposed to do. Who knows what these other families do, you know? So I'd rather have oh, them drive all over the place. I remember because I, I was that person that always drove, Shocker. always drove. Shocker. Shocker, right? But by the same token, the other parents, I, I remember them saying, one of them actually, one of the girls, she didn't get a car. She, she wasn't going to get a car. She says, what do you need a car for? Your friends can drive you. You know, and I'm just like, well, now it's pretty presumptuous. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and they just uh, assumed, well, isn't Jill driving? She can come get you, you know, and, and it was just kind of, but at the time it didn't bother me, but yeah, I wouldn't, I didn't want to ride with anybody Yeah, because I didn't trust them as much. And it's like, yeah. you want to take, yeah. And you don't, yeah, you don't want to be in that situation. I always and remember being younger and being in a, in a car, cars with people where they were driving, yeah. going crazy fast, doing mm. stupid things. And I remember thinking, this is insane. Mm -hmm. This is nuts. I, I can't get out of this situation. I have no control. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't want my kids being in and that situation. And until you're in an accident, you know, really like a, not even one where somebody gets hurt, but in, a, in an accident enough to shake you up. Mm-hmm. Then you realize, whoa. <laughs> well, Bennett just backed into that kid in the parking lot. And from <laughs> right? that point forward, he stopped going 100 miles an hour around the cul-de-sac. Like right? He, he, it, and he backs into his parking spots. He does. Oh, God. I'm trying God to bless break him. him of that. God bless him, as it should be. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you parking spot back. you can always see what's in front of you. It's easier than yeah, seeing what's behind I mean, you. It totally makes sense. And he is that kid. Yes. He's the kid that looks over whoosh, and backs in. Zip. And then he's ready to rock when it's time to go. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah. So anywho. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back home. To bring it back. To bring it back to the beginning. Back into your spot. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, get to us. Phone number. If you, you want to comment on the Alec Baldwin thing, mm -hmm. that situation, accident. We talked about everything. Um, we, and we will talk about everything. Yeah. Text us. 402-403-9478. <laughs> um, it's Pat and JT. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, and uh, yeah, just slide into our DMs. It's fun. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Rate, review, and subscribe. And tell your friends that we have a podcast. Yeah. Pat and JT Podcast. A Huda Media Production.